how is AI going to end up embedded in the economy or society? I think that there are, there are a bunch of bigger questions. More about what direction is this whole thing headed and what's the landscape of possibilities? I'll give you a few examples to show what I'm getting at. AI systems, like at the moment, are owned by uh, and run by large companies and effectively they've rented out their labor. If AI systems were like people, this would be like slavery or something like that. I'm not saying that they are like people, but this is one approach, is that it owns them, it rents them out, they have to do whatever the users want, and then all the profits go to the AI company. A different model would be to say, these AI systems are like legal persons. Maybe they are granted legal personhood in the same way that corporations are. So they can own assets. They're more like entrepreneurs or job seekers. Um, I think there's some reasons to think that there's more potential for economic gains if you allow them to actually make their own entrepreneurial decisions. They would have to pay for their own GPU costs and so on. <laughs> this is the kind of direction you might imagine people going down if they think that the AI systems have got to a point where they might have some moral status. A third model is to say, maybe people shouldn't be interfacing with AI systems generally. Um, so this is how we deal with uh, nuclear power. We have a small number of individuals who go and work in nuclear power stations. And they're vetted by their governments uh, with security uh, checks and so on. In these power plants, they, they produce electricity which flows down the cables into the consumers' houses. We could do that with AI. We could have a model where there's some small number of vetted people, maybe millions, who interact with AI systems, use them to design new drugs, maybe to help cure certain kinds of cancer. And then those products are assembled in factories and the consumers you know, can buy those products. If you're concerned about things like so malcontent individuals or terrorist groups using AI systems to wreak havoc, this would really help avoid that. Or uh, a fourth kind of alternative could be that if you're concerned about concentration of power issues, you might say, what we should do is, uh, is give every individual access to the same advanced level of AI assistant. So it's like a flat distribution of AI ability given to everyone, a bit like a universal basic income, but like universal basic AI access. So there are four really different ways uh, that you could distribute AIs into society and have them interact. And I feel that no one's talking about stuff like this. Like which of those worlds is most likely, which of those worlds is, is kind of possible, and which of those worlds uh, you know, is most desirable. Because fundamentally, we get to choose which of those worlds uh, that we live in.